Hello. Ah, uh, give me one second to try to find myself on my page. Oh, I see me. So let's get this bigger. All right, and let me adjust my camera. Everything looks a little crooked. There. I think that's good. I don't know. Hmm. So, happy Friday. Let me see if I can move this down a little bit. I'm trying to adjust everything. So if you are out there watching this live, say hello. I'd like to see who's joining. This is Donna from Donna's Creative Space. And I'm still trying to get my camera straight. So like I said, happy Friday. Oh my God, this week just seemed like it took forever to get here. I don't know about you guys, but so... Before I go on with today's card, hi Lori, how are you? How you doing? Did you have enough rain yesterday? Oh my gosh, I thought it was never going to end. I have some wetlands out in my woods behind my house. And it's usually, you know, wet, dries up in the summer. But it's like a lake out there now. And there were actually two mallard ducks out there. And it was a, um, I could tell it was a male and a female. It was a little couple. I just couldn't believe it. I have ducks in my woods, in my backyard. Anyway, so I am going to be making a card. I'm making, this is going to be a quick video. Um, just, I'm not, not feeling too great. I had my second shot uh, Wednesday afternoon, and I, it just really, I didn't, I'm not sick. I'm just, I just feel like out of it. So um, if I repeat myself or I'm confused, you had ducks in your backyard too, Lori. Isn't it crazy? Where do they come from? And how, like, how are they going to get back if it dries up? I hope they swim home. I, I know they can walk, but I hope they can swim home before it gets too bad. But I'm just, I just, like, I don't know, I had a, a Zoom meeting last night from my paper pumpkin group, and I just was so tired. I just, you know, it didn't make me sick or anything. It just kind of wore me down. I'm feeling a little better today, but I decided this was going to be a quick video. First, I want to say I have, um, I just want to mention my card class. That is my virtual card class. It was my Facebook Live last Friday, and if you place an order... Um, by today, today's the last day for this, and use my host code. If you forget to use the host code, I can add it. But you will get a card kit. You'll get one, oops, he's upside down. You'll get a kit to make one of each of these, this happy birthday. This is using the Hey Chick and the Hey Birthday Chick set. They are just so cute. I just thought these cards were so fun to make. So um, that ends today, so I thought I would mention it. And um, all you do have to do is place an order with me at donnasingleton.stampinup.net. And I will be shipping these out next week. Like I said, one card of each. You'll, get, you'll have to have the chick stamps um, to make this and either die cut it yourself for the chicks. I can't, if there's anything that has to get stamped, I can't stamp it first. Um, I mean, I can't send any stamped images according to Stampin' Up! rules. So you will have to stamp your chicks and color them and then cut them out. You could fussy cut them if you um, are good at fussy cutting or you may want the dies. But they are so cute. And, and I'll give you enough white cardstock if you wanted to just put them in circles maybe or something. I'll, I'll give you like a full um, quarter sheet of paper. And um, But I just think they're so cute. But I'm going to do all the other cutting. Like these squares will be cut out. I'll tie your bow. This is a little punch. It's a punch from a long time ago. I really like that. So I'm going to... I'll have that. I just It looks like um, washi tape at the ends. That might have been the name of it. It was a while ago. I'll, I'll cut out your fence for you. Everything will be pre-cut. 
these this will be pre-cut this die cut this um, Highland Heather and that circle will be pre-cut I'll emboss this for you and this will be cut out also and this will be cut everything will be pre-cut except for the chickens all right so that's the that's the end of April's virtual card class so you would just get the card kits and you can I'll send the link to the I uploaded it to YouTube it was on my Facebook channel last week for my Friday um, noon live at noon but um, I've also uploaded it to YouTube so when you get your card kit I will also send you the link so that you can watch the video how to put it together because there's no written instructions on that one let's see let me catch up on what Lori is saying both properties on either side of us have ponds but with all the rain there. oh <laughs> that's funny they were swimming back and forth that's cute all right today I'm gonna make a quick card using the handsomely suited stamp set and dies the dies are called are they called the same thing no they're called suit and tie dies and um, these come together you can get buy them separate or you can get them as a bundle they are on let's see what do I do with my catalog oh, it's underneath everything they are on it's on page 67 of the mini catalog and this is a great masculine um, stamp set and what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna use this for my beginning of May card class to go because with um, with Father's Day in June I wanted to get this done I would I wanted to do it at the end of April but I didn't think I didn't get there fast enough and I really wanted to use the chicks so if you're looking for it, it's on page 66 and page 67 of the this mini catalog and this mini catalog goes through the end of June it's kind of strange now because usually the mini catalog ends before the annual catalog but the new annual catalog and you should have if if you are a customer of customer of mine you should have got your annual catalog in the mail this starts May 4th so Tuesday you can start ordering from this now if you're not a customer of mine of course I wouldn't have sent you one but if you want to be a customer of mine if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator already um, go to my website, my blog space, donnascreativespace.com, and in the heading, there's a, a heading for um, in the menu above to email me. And you could tell me you'd like a catalog, and if you place an order, I'll send you one for free. And, um, all right, so, well, Handsomely Suited is the name of this, Handsomely Suited. I keep saying Well Suited, but I think that's the name. So it comes... So you can get, oh, I closed the page. I wanted to show you something. So there's different ways. This is a great masculine set. Now you can get the whole, um, what they call the, the, the collection, right? This whole collection is, and this only lasts till the end of June. The whole collection is $66. And what you'll get is the the stamp set, you'll get the dies, you'll get the designer series paper, and a pack, the combo pack of these two twines. We're going to use one of them. We're going to use the navy today, but you'll get these two twines, which is great. I mean, I, I love when we get these combo packs. And they have 15 yards on each spool, so that's a, that's a good amount. So that's what you get for the, um, if you bought the, the, what do you call it? The um, collection. It's on this. It, the name of it's right here. It's number one five five nine eight three, and it's sixty six dollars. And the but the you could buy everything separately if you just couldn't do it in your budget. Oops, sorry, I banged into the camera. If you couldn't do it in your budget, and you just want to get the stamp set, um, I'll be sending whatever card. This isn't one of the card. This is one of the card we're going to make today. But I. Um, I'll be sending your designer series paper in the kit and I, I pre-cut as much as I can for you and so if you can't afford you can always just buy the stamp itself for $21 and that's number 154444 and um, or if you can only afford the bundle the bundle is $47.50 if you buy them separately one's 21 and the dies are 32 but if you get them together instead of $53 you get a 10% discount so you get them for $47.50 hi Cindy oh thanks for sharing um, so that's the whole my whole spiel about the um, the product all right but 
like I said. So I'm going to have a new host code starting tomorrow that if you shop with me and spend $35 or more, you'll get my May card class to go, which will be this handsomely sweeted set. Later in the month, the second half of the month, I'll probably do like one of the new florals from the new set. But for now, I'm going to start this. I may, who knows, maybe I'll do three next month. But I wanted to squeeze this one in because it is... Um, I don't know, I just want some masculine cards. And this is a birthday card, but you could do it as a Father's Day too. Um, you might have to do a bigger circle, but I want to show you real quick what I did. And this is a, a fairly quick card. I used, for that circle, I used the, the second largest of the circle dies. I mean the circle, stitch shapes circle. Now these are retiring. If you don't have these, you really should get them because it's such a it's such a, a nice set because you have ovals, circles, and squares. It's I, I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to um, retire this. But anyway, if you need to get this, it is number 152323. And I'm telling you, you won't go wrong with this. All right, so for this card... Oh, and I just wanted to show you the designer series paper. Of course, I just use this piece, but everything is two-sided. So you'll get our designer series paper is usually double-sided, unless they say so. But most of it's double-sided. But these are the designs that you get in this designer series paper. And they're awesome for masculine cards it, and for making suits and ties, I guess. But isn't that great? I just think, I, I don't know, I just think, let me do it this way. I do that and that. Oops then that might fit on the screen. But I just think it's such a great masculine set of paper. And this is only, I only have a, these are six by 12s because I cut it in half. You would, if you bought it, it comes, it comes like this. It comes in a big package of um, 12 by 12. All right, and let me get rid of that. Let me put these to the side. Okay, so this, like I said, this will be a quick, a quick live because I just, um, I think I just want to rest. I think it's really that shot is kicking my little butt, or I should, I'm kicking my big butt. Anyway, all right, so for this card, and it's a quick one, and, and this is a, a really easy design. You could do, use any stamp set that you have, and um, any designer series paper. It's just kind of a cool little, quick little design. So what I have is, a five and a half by eight and a half piece of Knight of Navy cardstock, and I scored it at four and a quarter. I use my bone folder to crease that. I have a piece of basic white, four by five and a quarter for the inside. Then I took a piece of Knight of Navy, four by five and a quarter, and I it is. Let me see. I used the. Um, Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. So when you use this in your um, stamp and emboss and cut machine, cut and emboss, you want to only use number four. You use your number one platform. You put your paper. I've already done it, just so that I don't have to take up too much room on my desk here. You put your paper in between. So if it says... Um, I always save my outside sheet, um, but if it says 3D embossing folder, you're going to use this thick plate, the gray plate, number four, that came with your machine. So you put your white plate down, uh, your platform down, then your paper inside your folder, and, and then the number four on top. If you have the old one, if you already had one, it, you might have this one. Um, I should take that number off because we don't sell it like this anymore. But this one comes with your big, um, your stamp and emboss machine. Hi, Christine. Hi, Margaret. My goodness. You guys all snuck in. I didn't even look over, and all of a sudden there's a bunch of names. Um, so use your four, number four with any 3D embossing, or if you have the original one. So that's a really a nice, it's, it's subtle, not the subtle one, because we do have one called subtle, but it's a nice texture. I don't know if you can, if I hold it up to the light, if you'll be able to see the texture on it. But that's a, a nice embossing folder to have. And then I'm using a piece, so that was four by five and a quarter, and I embossed it. All right, then you're going to need a piece that is three 
by four. Then I use that, like I said, that second largest stitched circle. And if you're using um, any other circle punch or circle die, this is about two and three eighths. So anything that will fit your stamp will do. Then you need some scrap paper. And I already stamped my bow tie because I like to let the memento really dry before I color with the blends. And then I'm using the Knight of Navy light, light stamp and blend. The dark just seemed too dark. And then we have that combo pack. I'm just going to use the navy for this one. And I also pulled out some holiday rhinestones that have a couple of pearls on them. We'll get rid of those. Um, so I'm using the holiday rhinestones because we have these really pretty blues in there that I think goes with this. And then, of course, you know, um, dimensionals, adhesive, and um, scissors. All right. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by stamping the sentiment at the top part of my circle. Let me get a little bit of grid paper out so that I don't ruin my surface if the ink goes over. Here, way to go. That was from my um, paper pumpkin group last night. We got a Zoom and we put our latest paper pumpkins together. I'm just putting a piece of tape on the back of this so that it will stay in place. Okay. So at the top of your circle, you're going to stamp, oop, I'm going to stand up for this, but you're going to stamp your sentiment right at the top, hold it there for a second, lift it, and then you get a, you'll get a nice imprint, and let's see, I'm just, you know, I get distracted, I look over at the computer to see if anybody else came on, because I want to make sure I say hi to you guys, I do appreciate you. Um, joining me. All right, so I stamped the one, this one, but I forgot. I want one for the inside too. So on your, on your basic white inside piece, I'm going to turn it over. That looks like a little mark on that. I'm just going to stamp, and we'll let this one sit. I forgot about that. I should have stamped it ahead of time, but that's good. You get to see that I sh I stamp. Okay, so, so that's it. Only three stampings. The bow, bow tie, I should say, bow tie on a, a scrap, and the bow tie on the inside piece. We're going to color both of them. I'm not going to use the die. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use if you don't have a die cutting machine, if you don't want to buy the dies. Now, like I said, you might have our circle punches. If you don't have the circle punches, we only have a few left, um, and they got rid of all our circle punches. I think they want us to use the... the um, the dies, but I do like the circle punches, so I will not get rid of mine. All right, so we're going to take our three by four piece of designer series paper, and I'm going to put some adhesive on the back, and we're going to we're going to adhere this right to our embossed piece. I just love this texture, and I'm going to put it towards the bottom like that, and then we're going to take our twine, and you can cut it ahead of time. But I like to wrap it right off the spool and then cut some off. And that way I know I have, um, I, I don't waste too much. And then I'm going to tie it. So I leave like about, I don't know, three or four inches. And see if I can do this. Sometimes when I'm, I don't know why, but when I'm filming, I just recording. I don't know why the filming is an old fashioned word. We don't film anymore. Oops. Did I get it? Nope. Try it again, Donna. It's something about doing the recording. If if nobody were watching me right now, I could tie a great bow. But for some reason, there. All right. So we have our bow. And I'll just slide it down to just go over where the two papers meet. Just to cover that. And then we're going to put the some adhesive on the back. like to put some extra there make sure that um, and sometimes I'm a little anal about things so I kind of like it to be straight I don't want to twist so I just slid that over a little bit like that and then I'm going to put that on here 
This is a, I think this is a great masculine card for birthday. And the stamp set, I mean, it has another bow tie you could use. I just used this one. I just thought it was cuter. All right, so let's color now. We'll get my Knight of Navy out and we'll color this one first. And I think the Knight, Knight, of, the Knight of Navy dark blend was just too dark, so I didn't want it. Um, I just love this, this colored blend because it just is so, I don't know, it's just such a nice rich blue. So did everybody, well, somebody said they were from Rhode Island. I think, who was that? Christine, maybe? Oh, Margaret from Rhode Island. Did you guys have the rain like we had yesterday? Oh my gosh, it rained like all day long. I could not believe it. I was, oh, I put that away and I have to color this one. And um, if you were on, on at the beginning of this, when Lori and I were chatting, she has, she has a little pond, I think she said in her backyard, but I just have like wetlands in the woods behind me. I don't have a big backyard, so the woods are pretty close. But, um, and I could not believe, this. so two mallard ducks, a male and a female in there. Swimming around, it wasn't a lake but, or a pond, now it is. I don't know where they come from and I hope they can get home. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the inside right away. Just like this. So this is kind of a sneak peek of the card that I'm using for um, my first card class to go of May. I am dying to use one of the new stamp sets because they will be, but they'll be coming out. You can order from the new catalog May 4th, but I, I've had this stamp set and I wanted to do some masculine cards and I thought this was a great one for masculine. So I'm gonna fussy cut this out. The first one I did, I used the die set, but I'm gonna fussy cut because I'll show you that if you don't have the dies, this set isn't, isn't too hard to cut around the stamped images. So I'll be, um, let's see, I'll be advertising within the next few days about the, um, my first card class to go in May. I can't believe it's May already. I can't believe it. So this is like watching paint dry, right? Watching somebody cut out stuff. Okay. I actually think I did a better job than the die cut. I don't mind fussy cutting. I'm a quilter too, so fussy cutting is something we do. All right. Let me get rid of that. Scraps. Now, I didn't want to, since this is already up on dimensionals, I didn't want to put this up on dimensionals. Well, I went around that a little bit. I don't like the little points. So I'll get rid of all those little points. Oops, I missed it. What I'm going to use are um, glue dots. And I want to show you a way to make something a little higher without using dimensionals. You just double up your glue dots. So I'm gonna put one here. Let's see if I can get this down. Actually, I'll do it this way. Sometimes it's better to do it right, right onto your piece. And you don't get your fingers involved. So I'll put one in the center. Come on. Right. And one on the end. So now I have one, oops, right? one in the center, one on the two sides. Then I'm gonna, let me get more of my glue dots. I keep this little ribbon on here to keep them from unraveling the whole thing. I just tear it off when I'm done. Now I'm gonna make another layer in the same spots. Just like that. So now I have two layers of a glue dot. And what that does, it gives you kind of a, um, let me do it this way. It gives you a little bit of dimension, see? 
but not as much as dimensionals. It's like half the thickness of dimensionals. I just thought that was a neat way of raising it up, but not making it too high because sometimes, you know, each layer of dimensionals just adds to the bulk of it to mail. So now, like I said, I'm using these, our holiday rhinestones. I might take your pick tool with the putty on the end to pick them up and I'm just going to throw on some of the blue rhinestones. You can put them wherever you want, but isn't that the cutest little quick, quick masculine card? I think that we don't have enough masculine cards and I could picture doing this in, um, in the gray, you know, all these colors, think of all the different variations because it's really not that hard of a card. I mean, it's just a matter of, um, this piece for the designer series paper. You could even stamp your bow tie on one of these lighter colors and cut it out and put it on there too. So that is my card, my card, well, I should say my, my, um, video for today. Nice and short. Yet yeah, last week was, I think it was two hours, but that was because it was a, um, my virtual card class. The other, that, that virtual card class for the chicks, which you'll get the path. I will send it's out on YouTube also. So you can make these cards on your own. If you place an order with me, you'll get the card kits so that you don't have to cut the paper except for the chicks. So that is it for today. Just going to try to move everything out of the way. You like that, Lori? Thanks. I, I think it's a great card, too. I think that um, it's a simple one, right? And it didn't take that long to make, so you should be able to make a few of them. But I think it's a great um, masculine one, like I said. And if you don't, you could use just putting a birthday sentiment and any little image or cutout that you have on the front to decorate it. But I think that this is a great set to add because you have Father's Day in here. Have, have a happy Father's Day handsome. I don't know if I'd use the handsome, um, but um, this you're the best. A thank you to one of the world's greatest dads and the one we used a happy birthday to you. And um, some ties. I made one. I'll show you this one. I was going to do this one also, but it was kind of a pain to cut out this collar and fold it down. But maybe I'll show that another time. I just thought it was, um, I, I, when I stamped this, I put a post-it note down first and stamped it because I didn't, I don't know why, I just didn't want that handsome on there. Because I don't know who I'm going to give it to, but like my son sometimes buys cards from me. Well, I really give them to him. He doesn't, um, oh, you're welcome, Jackie. Nice to see you. He doesn't, he doesn't buy them from me. He just says, mom, do you have any cards? So, like, if he was going to give this to his father, he wouldn't want the handsome on there, right? So you can mask it out when you go to stamp it. Okay, I guess that is it for today. And once again, if you're still shopping, today's the last day to shop with me and get my virtual card class, the Hey Chicks, for free. And as of tomorrow, May 1st, I will be doing my new card class to go for um, the beginning of May and that will be using this handsomely suited set and it will be eight cards four designs to each of four designs so if you are interested in fall getting my newsletter you can visit Donna's creative space.com and in the top there's a in the menu you can click on newsletter and you can just send me your email address and you'll get my newsletter so take care people and I will see you next Friday live. I may be back before then, but that's my scheduled is always Fridays at noon. And But then I pop in now and then when I'm in the mood, when I have time. All right, take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.